There is one method where you can make sure that you take down the town hall cleanly and efficiently every single time. That's a huge bonus since the Town Hall is a massive defense starting at Town Hall 12. And also, it allows you to not have to drag your troops through the Town Hall Poison starting at Town Hall 14. What is this attack? What are the secrets to doing it effectively? Let's get into it. Recently, I've been seeing more and more Town Halls just sitting toward the outside, which makes them easy to take down using what? Sneaky Goblins. Using this method is most effective at Town Halls 14 through 16 as it saves your troops from being drugged through the Town Hall Poison, but it also takes out a huge key defense at Town Halls 12 and 13 and essentially works at all Town Hall levels. And if you can get the Town Hall down with Sneakies, the only negatives are A, it does take a bit of time in some cases, and B, you have to use up a Super Troop slot which prevents you from using some other OP strategy. So let's weigh the positives and the negatives and explain exactly what you need to do this cleanly and efficiently. Step number one is clearing out any mines, pumps, and storages that might be in the way of getting your sneaky goblins to the town hall. For any of these resource buildings on the edge of the base, you can use one sneaky for pumps and mines, two sneakies for gold and elixir storages, and three sneakies for the DE storage. If any of those buildings are set back a bit, then you'll want to add one more to that number just to be safe. Now, if the town hall is freely available as it is here, then you won't have to worry about step one, but you still have to consider step two, which is using a test sneaky or two to ensure there are no traps around the town hall. Once that is done, then you move on to step three, which is sending in at least five sneakies and envising them at just the right time. Now this does take a bit of practice, but you want your invis spell to be placed between two to three tiles back so you can get efficient coverage on your sneakies while at the same time not envising the town hall, which would have disastrous results. Once the town hall is down, then boom, you're ready to do the rest of your attack. Which brings up the question of whether or not this method is even worth it. I mean, if I can use a Yeti blimp to take down the town hall, or I can stick a flame flinger on it, when would it be worth it to actually use this method over the others that are available to us? As I said earlier, using sneakies on the town hall does take a bit more time. So if you can do it while at the same time clearing out buildings with a warden walk and or a flame flinger, then it's definitely time that you will have available to you. Just follow the three steps mentioned above and do an easy town hall takedown. I do exactly that with this attack, for example, following it up with a super wizard blimp. Then once all my targets are down and the funnel is in place, I use super bowlers to take out the rest of the base. Now I'm able to use super bowlers in this attack specifically because I did not need super wall breakers which would have taken up a space in my super troop slots. If I had needed super wall breakers to get my heroes or troops into a certain part of the base, for example, then I would have had to use an alternate troop comp that would have worked for this base. As it is though, I'm able to get the town hall down with sneakies, clear out a funnel with the warden walk, and then focus on the rest of my attack. But why not just blimp the town hall and be done with it? Isn't that what the pros do? To answer that question, you have to look at the value you'll gain from either method. Using a blimp, for example, uses up your siege machine, 45 troop space at Town Hall 14, for example, with a Yeti blimp, and typically a rage, and possibly a freeze. Also, if you use any test loons for the blimp, then that needs to be factored in as well. So if I can get the Town Hall down using 15 or less sneakies, which totals the 45 troop space, and just one invisibility spell, then that equivalently saves two spell slots, which can be used in the other portions of my attack. So you have to look at the base and determine if using this method to take down the town hall is worth it versus the traditional methods that we use to do a normal town hall takedown. Now this method is especially effective when having to hit up in war. Although we would like to think we can possibly three-star a town hall that's higher than us, just as Cake three-stars his town hall 16 with his town hall 14, for example, the reality is 
we should probably shoot for the two star and call it a day. And getting down the town hall is one of the most important factors when hitting up in war. If we can get the town hall down using sneakies, then at that point, it's just getting enough buildings down to total 50%, and we've gotten the second star in the bag, possibly giving our team a huge bonus in war. You could even have your lower town halls hit up for two stars, while your higher town halls hit down for three stars if there's enough of a mismatch. So using this method can be extremely effective. Now, if the town hall is in the very center of the base or it's an anti two star style, then this method will likely not work. But anytime you see a base where the town hall is around the outside, then definitely consider using sneakies to get that first star and to take that town hall down. The last two things that are super important that we need to consider is one, to watch out for scatter shots. A scatter almost wiped out my sneakies in this case, for example, because I didn't wait quite long enough before letting my test sneaky die. And number two is considering builder huts. One method is just to quake the area around the town hall, which would cause the builders to focus on their own huts for a short period of time, but that also expends a spell slot you don't necessarily need to. Instead, for safety, I will typically add one extra sneaky for every hut nearby, which counterbalances those pesky builder huts, allowing you to get that town hall down. I have personally found that using sneaky goblins to do a town hall takedown is an absolutely amazing strategy. Now, it is a little harder to do it at the higher town hall levels, especially because base builders know that this option is out there, and so they try to defend and protect against it. But whenever I do find a base that has a town hall that's easily taken down by sneakies, I try to take advantage of it every single time. Let me know if you are doing any sneaky town hall takedowns in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like and share this video with any clanmate who might be helped by this concept, sneaky goblin takedowns. Until the next video, I am TipDog20. I'll see you then.